It is our honor, it is our great honor to be able to welcome Austin's own Mayor Steve Adler. Good afternoon. You know, it is uh, uh, my honor and my privilege to welcome you all to, to this conference. Uh, I want to thank you for inviting me. Uh, I want to give uh, special thanks to uh, Mimi Stiles. Uh, this is an incredible effort and something that uh, was part of a, a picture that, that you painted for me almost three years ago uh, when, when we found ourselves uh, by coincidence sitting together on a, on a panel uh, to talk about uh, some of the, the issues uh, that give rise to the importance of the work that you're doing here today. Uh, and to have a, a dream and then see it become realized uh, is, uh, is, a, is a gift that you are giving to this community and to other, other communities. Uh, also want to congratulate uh, your, your colleagues, uh, Jonathan Lynn Davis and uh, Malik Nijba, uh, uh, Eric Bird, uh, Dr. Meg Moore, uh, Precious uh, Azurze, Azure, uh, and uh, Rebecca Dejean. You all are doing really important work, and, and again, it is a gift to this community. You know, what Measure is doing is, is important, it is valued, it is necessary, and it is welcomed by me. Uh, importantly, it is welcomed by our police chief uh, and our law enforcement uh, professionals. Uh, it is welcomed by our community. And I'm excited about this topic because marrying big data and community policing uh, gives us a fuller picture of the work uh, that needs to be done, uh, the potential that can be realized but importantly, it gives us benchmarks to be able to evaluate if what we're doing is in fact achieving the results and the goals that we want to achieve. I'm excited about your approach. The uh, issues that you're dealing with uh, are challenges that have been with us for, for generations. Uh, and it is a uh, long past time for new approaches, for exportable and replicable uh, answers to the challenges that we face. That I'm just really proud to be part of a city uh, because of the people that live in our city uh, that are taking uh, uh, a lead. You know, I have spoken with uh, uh, many other mayors and, and some police chiefs <coughs> from other cities around the country about the, the work that you are leading us through uh, here in this program. And I know that there are a lot of cities that are looking to see what happens here. I know that we have almost a, a quarter of the participants to a third of the participants here from outside of Austin. Uh, and I think that cities across the country are looking to all of us to help establish best practices and a new way to move forward. Because this, the measure, measuring is critical for being able to do community policing uh, well. Um, you know, as by definition, it is as much about community uh, as it is about policing, and it's the important intersection of the two. This is not about playing gotcha with, uh, with, with the cops, uh, but it is to improve the quality of life in a community, to improve, uh, to, to prove policing. In order to do that, we need to have direction and goals, and we need to have accountability. And to do that, we need to be able to measure what it is that we're doing. You know, it is often said that you can't, that, that what we spend our time and our effort and our resources on will always be those things that we can measure. And if we don't measure them, then we're only giving lip service to uh, uh, approaching them or, or dealing with them. 
And I think that is really true and, and really appropriate here. I'm proud to be in Austin. I'm a proud to be in a city where our police chief and our, and our police officers are, are not only um, uh, willing to be engaged in this process, uh, but are actively seeking to be, to be part of this. Because when you start measuring things and you start focusing on things uh, different than or added to the things that you <coughs> measure or focus in the past, it starts changing the decisions that you make. You know, and our, and our police chief gave an example to our city council just a couple weeks ago uh, that I think is an anecdote that is very telling uh, and is one that I've repeated because it's really easy to understand. So long as the only metric that we look at is response time or the incidence of, of violent crime, those kinds of things, we look at policing in a different way than if we are also measuring and recording use of force and de-escalation, community involvement. And the anecdote that you told was, you know, Austin, like many cities, has their, their version of a recruiting video for police officers. And the traditional recruiting video for police officers uh, shows the, the exciting uh, dynamic of being a police officer. It's the, it's the water rescue. It's, it's running into the dangerous situation. Uh, and, and, and that historically has been what, what police recruiting videos show. But the police video that, that we have now has moved to demonstrate the value that we have as a community and our force has as a mission to, to show police officers engaging with the community and making relationships, getting to know the community within which they do their work, letting the community know who they are. And those two different recruiting videos will recruit different kinds of candidates to those positions. That kind of fundamental change in, in even something as incidental as a recruiting video is something that happens and gets driven by a change and an intention to change metrics with how we measure how well we're doing that part of our, that part of our job. You know, we, uh, we live in a community where we are striving to make our city safer. We're trying to make the job of law enforcement safer. Uh, we're trying to be a city that is as good as it thinks that it is, because we deal with a lot of Austin exceptions <coughs> here in this town, and to be a city that, that knows how, how good it can be. Measure is going to make this community safer and better. We're going to learn from what has um, happened to us in the, in the past, and we're going to grow uh, from, from what we've experienced. I want to thank Measure for the work. Uh, I want to thank our officers for uh, uh, actively seeking to be, to be part of this effort. Uh, to give us a fuller picture of what police work is and where we need to put our resources and our time. And crucial to that is beginning with and ending with what we measure and what we look at. So the work you're doing this week is, is so important. Uh, and, and I just want to close with, again, just how lucky as the mayor of the city, I believe that I am. Uh, that this is happening here uh, with so much of our community uh, involved. And for that reason, um, I wanted to issue and, and have issued a proclamation uh, because I think that this moment is important for us to, to, to not lose sight of. And I don't have, ah, here it is. This is the proclamation. Whereas Austin's growth has presented our residents with unique opportunities to grow and to develop together. And whereas our nation is grappling with profound social challenges, and whereas new technology is bringing new information into the purview of law enforcement, 
And whereas we all recognize the value that this event here brings in terms of connections, productive interactions, and new and strengthened friendships. And whereas Measure has brought diverse leaders from technology, community, and law enforcement groups together to discuss how best to leverage new and existing tools to support more effective relationships between our communities and law enforcement. Now, therefore, I, Steve Adler, Mayor of Austin, Texas, do hereby proclaim the 27th of October in the year 2017 as Bridging Divisions Day here in Austin, Texas. Godspeed. Godspeed.